fresh oil of outer space. It's the biggest story of the year. This launching of the Russian satellite, which brings into the realm of possibility all those wild science fiction stories of interplanetary travel. It's fascinating. big thank you to Apollo Projects for providing the funding. It's really helped our kids to have more opportunities. Gaining the extra funding really goes a long way to providing opportunities. We are low on the socioeconomic index, so our students haven't got $200 when we're going away for these trips. Students often miss out on opportunities because of um, the financial commitment. More often than not, the student has to give up their sport. With the funding from Apollo Projects, we've been able to lower travel costs to allow more students to participate in secondary school competitions. Your generosity has enabled us to enable these students be able to play in these sports, be able to just be the best versions of themselves. We're really grateful and I cannot express that enough about how, how and what it means to us. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This isn't about long distance calling, technology, or living overseas. Do I have one more bid? Thank you. We're going to go one. We're going twice. And we are sold to the Kiwi phone bidder from Manchester. <laughs> it's about Bailey's finding buyers that others can't. Want to catch a fuel bargain with Caltex and Supergold? Scan your Caltex at flybys or airpoints for six cents off per litre with pumped. You beauty! And show your Supergold card for an extra two cents off. Ah, feels good. 
Since 2022, New Zealand Carbon Farming has been a partner in our school sports series, which is a collection of national sporting events that are held throughout New Zealand. They've also committed significant funding to help local schools and the communities that they're a part of so they can achieve more with their sport programs. Having this funding, being able to use it specifically targeting sport and to promote sport in, in schools is, is hugely, hugely beneficial. As a small rural school, obviously travel is an issue for, for us. We compete often in the Waikato. We're a community who's driven by sport, but often uh, money and, and the cost of travel and cost of accommodation and uniform can be a, a barrier for some of our students. Our students are in an area where money is tight um, and opportunities for them is, is minimal. So creating more opportunities at school for our students to participate in sport is what we're wanting to do. So to be able to have the support of New Zealand Carbon Farming has been fantastic this year. We are very grateful for the funding. It's going to help a lot of our students here at um, Tikuti High School, especially one of our students, uh, Callum Headley. Um, he has made the New Zealand Kiorahi team. I'd just like to, to thank New Zealand Carbon Farming for their support of the college. Um, without the support, we wouldn't be able to offer everything we do to the students. Huge thank you to New Zealand Carbon Farming. Certainly the, the opportunities and the sponsorship that's been provided is pretty crucial for our school. Big thanks to New Zealand Carbon Farming for everything they've done for us. Without them, then we wouldn't look like this. <laughs>
It is red-blooded at the start of Gisborne Boys High School and Palmerston North Boys. It is Palmerston's opening game of the Super 8 this year. Gisborne Boys, their second game, and looking for a big performance after the tough loss to Napier last week. Run through the teams very quickly for you. For Gisborne Boys, Malosi, Lua Falialo, Noah Torrance Cribb, Levi Cameron, Joe Kemp, Ruben Faitari, Jimmy Moore, Co-Captain Braith Ingram, Luke Bidwa, Liam Beatty, Tadeimana Gray, Safin, Tawairua Brown, Punahihi Co-Captain, Quaden Chaffee Kora, Timuaki Stewart, Kaiao, Kete Kete Tangera, for Palmerston North, Jacob Booth, Eli Oden Ryan, Vice Captain Logan Wallace, Bradley Tocker, Connor Giltrappi, Prefect, Ollie Barham, Tom Milston Park, Captain Alex Palazzo, Callum Gullery, Liam O'Connor, Nehemiah Sewer, Tane Harvey, Ryder Crosswell, Josiah Simons, and Jamie Villon. Gisborne boys in the black and red uniform. From left to right of your screen, Palmerston Imperious in their white and black. What an atmosphere it is here. 17 degrees. Gisborne boys playing into the uh, Norwester. Palmerston will touch the ball first. Palmerston North Boys High School. Strong team coming off a heartbreaking loss. 30 to 32 against Silverstream on Stream 1. Gisborne boys, that was uh, Kitty Kitty Tangi a lovely catch. Nehemiah Sewer scored, uh, I believe. Yes, he did. He scored a, a fantastic try. Two fantastic tries, actually, in game one against Lindisfarne College. So, Palmerston North boys, full of running. Watch out for hooker Lee Oden Ryan. Vice captain to Tane Harvey last year. Vice captain to uh, Elston Park this year. Strong Palmerston team. Oden Ryan with a couple of touches early on. Ball bounces there in front of a booth. Handles the ball well. Palmerston with ball in hand. Looking not bad here, Palmerston. Sewer, excellent support play. Palazzo there to him quickly. They look good at the moment, Palmerston. Liam O'Connor, very good goal kicker, first five eights. And with guys coming up from deep, beyond the fullback handling the ball. Palmerston North with lots of ball in the early going. No score, 35 minutes each way, Super 8, season opener. Booth there with a second touch in general play. Good play by Booth, looks a good player actually. There with the big guy looming out in front too, that was a Bradley Tocker. Tocker who scored a memorable try against Tai College. Palmerston North Boys High School, ball in hand. Certainly tough opposition at any stage. The Yohan up again, Punahihi. Came in to make the tackle. On hand there, Oden Ryan. Good play by Oden Ryan. Getting over the ball. Booth again. Third touch for Booth. Been involved a lot. Done a lot, Booth, already. Oh, superb stuff. And a fantastic opening try. Right at Croswell. Croswell, who scored against Linders Farn and against Wellington and against Francis Douglas and Wongatai College and has scored here today. So the first try of the match. Right at Croswell. Pure pace, really. There wasn't a lot on. Gisborne boys missing a couple of tackles over there on the, uh, as they'd see at the left edge. Palmerston North Croswell showing good speed. Lovely finish there by the Palmerston centre. Quick feet. Teddy, as they say in the business. Lots of speed. Brilliant. Brilliant try there. Croswell well taken. Palmerston a class outfit. Always have been, always will be. O'Connor, Vice-Captain O'Connor. Fantastic game against uh, St. Pat's Town. Three conversions, three penalties. Real wizard with the boot, O'Connor. O'Connor's first shot, try by Croswell. Marvellous start, fast opening, entertaining opening. Brilliant rugby. The national game on display there. Up. Oh, got it too. What a fantastic kick there by O'Connor. O'Connor so. Palmerston North leads 7-0. A wonderful try by Croswell. And a kick from, well, another planet really. That's a lovely strike first up by O'Connor. Talk about a confidence builder. Man that makes contact like that, he doesn't need his confidence. 
be built any higher. Seven nil, Palmerston. Wow, what a brilliant start. I must admit, conditions here today are very different than the last time I was at Palmerston myself. Okay, that's the long one. Gisborne boys down the middle, good hands there, O'Connor. The man in the right place at the right time. Gisborne boys don't communicate there. Ran into each other as a matter of fact. But have the ball in hand now and a chance to do something with it. And they have flair. They're showing that. That's a, a nice break. Good stuff by Keta Keta Tangira. Penalty there, Ben Holt. Match referee Ben Holt, 28-year-old mechanic. Old boy of Lindisfarne College, no less Ben Holt. Joel Pierce, assistant referee on this side. And assistant referee Pierce on the side had a very good game, the second 15 game that he controlled. As I think I said before, two very good games before this. Palmerston winning at the under-15 level, 29-10, after leading 22-0 at half-time. And, of course, second 15, 41-0 to Palmerston, 12-0 at half-time. Palmerston North making a strong start to the game. Their open side flanker and captain, Tom Ilston Park, is a very, very good player indeed. And they look, they look unstoppable at the moment, Palmerston. Jamie Villon now with a try. Cross will try, Villon try. They've got real pace on the outsides. Reminds me a little of Curtis Heafy of two or so years ago. I tell you what, that's a name to make your bones roll. He was something else as a player. Exciting. Wowee. So Palmerston up at the moment, 12-0. Two tries, one conversion. And can anyone doubt O'Connor from here? 12-0. Try Yohan. Scored a couple against some Pats Town, Villon. Showed his skills as a goal kicker. Kicked seven conversions against Longatai. Conversion there by their chief goal kicker, Liam O'Connor. So 14-0 Palmerston with the lightning start. Magnificent start. Miharo, brilliant as they say. Palmerston North with ball in hand on the edges and this is their first super eight game they have a point to prove stream got away from them or at least that's how they feel 30 32 last weekend there was nothing in it last minute try and conversion gizman boys looking to bounce back i like what i saw a little while ago from uh Kitty Kitty tangera the counter attack gizman boys for the first time really in the palmerston half well, on the good clearing pass two of uh, Callum Gullery. This boys case today, it's Liam Beatty. Okay. Gisborne boys with the uh, the intercept as play continues. Loose ball situation. You take it any way you can if you're Gisborne at the moment. 14-0 Palmerston. Great to see the little guys here too. Players of the local clubs come down to support the uh, first 15 rugby, Super 8 rugby. Okay, Gisborne boys interfering there. That was Noah Torrance Cribb. Got on a loose ball. Good play by Noah. His 11th game for the team today. So Noah Torrance Cribb gets involved. Involved to effect. Gisborne boys with some ball at long last. In the attacking half. Able to run today, Mana Gray coming back to the blind side. Court presents the ball. Gisborne trailing by 14 points. Palmerston up 14 0. Gisborne boys really needing their heavyweights to throw their weight around. They have the ball again. Clear there from Beatty. Gisborne pushing left. Gisborne outside the 22, trailing by 14 points. Good hard rugby football. Ball goes loose today, Mana Gray. Nice hands. Puna he he. Under advantage there, referee Holt, whose communication so far with the players has been very good. If you watch for it, you'll actually see the quizzical look on the face sometimes of referee Holt, a look of disbelief. He's mastered that expression. At the moment, he's been trailing by 14 points. The pavilion over there, 
the ball's about to be thrown in from there was erected. It was erected in honour of those who fell from memory in the Second World War. So this is a place of history. Much history has been made here. It's Gisborne with the throw, Noah Torrance Cribb. Throws the ball in, Gisborne win the line out. Gisborne drive, beating at the back. Beatty to clear, the diminutive halfback. Gisborne today, Mano Gray runs. Support from Punahihi. Turnover there by uh, Palmerston very quickly. Look at the turnaround. Look at the speed at which they play the game. Palmerston North playing good rugby at the moment. That's Vion with a centering kick. Gisborne boys getting back in defence. Gisborne boys doing everything they can. to to Wairua Brown. Gisborne boys under pressure at the moment from Palmerston. Vion has paced down the edge. And also the good centering kick. Safin to Wairua Brown with a save. 2023 so far, the year of living dangerously for the Gisborne outsides. Safin to Wairua Brown. Classy. He's a player, you know, the hallmark of a great player is that he always seems to have a lot of time. And he certainly, Safin sometimes appears to have more time than most. More time than any. At times. Palmerston up by 14 points. What a fixture. What an occasion. First met 1916, Palmerston 15 3 in Palmerston. Referee Ben Holt, he of the calm demeanour. On one side, Joel Pierce, 15 years of age, on the other, Les Thomas. The Silver Fox. Gisborne Boys Palmerston, a great game of rugby. These conditions are perfect, guys. 17 degrees. Scarce a crowd, a cloud in the sky. Good effort there from Punahi, making a good ground there. Strong player, but Palmerston there, counter attack, and they force a turnover. They have the ball now. Gisborne lost the ball forward initially. Punahi. Trying to push him off, trying to hold him at bay. 14-0. Palmerston so far have done fairly much everything right. Couple of tries, couple of conversions. The, the second one was fairly straightforward, but the first one from O'Connor. The second one was almost an anti-climax. Two great tries. But don't discount the flair of Kiri Kiri Tangera and company. They haven't seen a lot of ball. Gallery got it away and once more Palmerston are through and this time it's Tane Harvey. He was captain of the side in 2022 and has scored here. Turning to Gisborne in triumph. I'll tell you what, Palmerston have made a great start. Odin Ryan's touched the ball two or three times. He scored a try here on the last occasion he played for the first 15 against Gisborne boys. At the moment, 19 points to nil. And Palmerston with a dream start. Produced some fantastic sportsmen. They've already had a great year. Won the Centennial Cup. 30-5 to five against Wanganui Collegiate. O'Connor. Anyone out there interested in becoming a goal kicker, watch for this. Poise. Balance. And under pressure. Holds his nerve. Good kick by O'Connor. The chase was an honest one. O'Connor there though showing the difference between class and not class. Never put off. 21-0. Gisborne simply needs some ball. They get some ball, it's a different game. This is where winning the ball becomes very important. Braith Ingram, Punahihi, as co-captains, do a fine job. But they need these big guys to get the ball back for them. They've got to get up to it. They've got to get up to the ball. Joe Kemp and Ruben fight to the company. Restart of play. Three converted tries. Exciting game, fast game. Ball didn't carry 10 metres, Palmerston played at it. 
That was the uh, the big guy throwing the hand out there, Bradley Tocker. I love the way the Tocker reached out for the ball from a long way away. Tocker and Gill Trap. Look at Odin Ride ready to scrummage. Noah Torrance Cripp his opponent. I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, I love my rugby football. We're so lucky to have Māori TV bring this to you. It's a wonderful game. Certainly all enjoying it. The scrum battle. Oh, Fakamua, the front row battle. Big scrum here from Palmerston. What a scrum it is. O'Connor there with a the kick. Ball bounces up. Ball takes a tough bounce and uh, penalty now Palmerston. Referee Ben Holt. Opted for the uh, scrum at halfway or has he? Has he or has he not? Look at Odin Ryan putting the mouth guard back in. Because my boy's back at halfway for the uh, set scrum. Liam Beattie actually with the chase on the kick. Ben Holt. Chase on that uh, conversion attempt by O'Connor. Well, there are explanations and then there are explanations. Referee Holt. A.R. Pierce and A.R. Thomas. One chugs along. Now the teachers, what's happening here? Had a big whistle there. Okay, and uh, time is now on. O'Connor going deep there, O'Connor. O'Connor with quite possibly the greatest kick from halfway that I've seen here at the rectory in 34 years for a visiting player. It's a long time, but, man, you get that wrong, all of a sudden you've egg on your face. You've kicked the ball dead. That is uh, something else. Throw to come. Odin Ryan has it at the back. Odin Ryan. Odin Ryan, third year man. And try is scored. So a magnificent try there. Odin Ryan scores it. The hammer of Rongatai. Scored four tries against them and has his first year against Gisborne today. It is an imposing scoreline. Boy, oh boy, is it. 26 points to nil. Odin Ryan came here for a reason. And while all of these guys, there's mutual respect, no doubt about that, you... The purpose of the exercise is to make friends, and Odin Ryan scoring a marvellous try. Palmerston, uh, you know, there's nothing flashy at the moment from the visitors. They are solid, they are well organised. They want to make it a sweep. 29-10 against the under-15s, and 42-0 from memory against the second 15. Palmerston with purpose. The purposeful Palmerston up at the moment. 26 nil. This for 28. Again, the ball in the upright position is away, though, this time from O'Connor. Well. What a scoreline. Twenty-six nil. And I've got to say at this point, and it's worth saying. The refereeing by referee Holt has been very good. The refereeing in these games here so far this season has been excellent. We put that out there. If it's been a factor, it's been a factor for the good. Kept up with play and facilitated play. 26 nil. It's worth saying, making that point. Once again, this one is uh, just carried 10 metres. So there to clear it is Beatty. Gisborne boys, that's a Braith Ingram. Good, powerful surge by Ingram. He's played well this season. Both co-captains have. Now switch of play. Puna hee hee! Excitement, Puna! Puna pops the pass! Great pass there by Puna hee hee! Finding Quaden Chaffee quarter. Gisborne boys on the run. Having a stake their claim now, down 26 nil. They've got to do something. Gisborne boys continue to probe here. Today, Mana Gray throws a dummy. Palmerston defense is awake to the threat he poses. Gisborne boys probing again on the left. Noah Torrance crib is it. 
No time script with support. Punahi. And the penalty goes to Palmerston North. Gisborne boys held on to the ball a little too long. And they couldn't quite get numbers there quickly enough. Palmerston North there showing some stickability. Admirable stickability. Gisborne boys with the ball in hand. Enterprising Gisborne boys. They can beat a man one on one. Just a matter of getting their hands on the ball. Last week, Napier Boys High School, a couple of hulking locks that were very good. Ben Campbell was outstanding. Odin Ryan with ball in hand. Real powerhouse, Odin Ryan. Throws the ball in. Palmerston have it, but the throw wasn't straight. I'm going to tell you the truth, to be honest. It was the, it was the same earlier on. Palmerston North running hard with the ball. This referee, Ben Holt, is really good. He's got an understated style about him. He doesn't try to dominate proceedings, but you've certainly got a good one in the middle today. So the few wasn't straight from uh, Odin Ryan then. Bidwar may come off the back. He may have to over there for Bidi out there in front of uh, Puna. Puna, nice hands today, Mana. Gisborne boys with some uh, adventure again. Willingness to run. Gisborne boys. Man, uh, Palmerston getting over the ball powerfully or trying to. Penalty now, Palmerston. Once more, Gisborne hanging on to the ball at the breakdown. Palmerston getting numbers there. Gisborne getting there. You know, it's a, it's a game of inches. Millimeters. And split seconds. And that's what you're seeing here. you got to get to the ball. you got to play the game with some urgency. That's what I think. And at the moment, 26-0. As I said before, there's no such thing as a boring game of rugby. 26 points to nil. Thrill a minute, Joel Pierce. Just happy to be here. Happy to be alive, to be honest. 26-0. Odin Ryan to throw. Okay, now that throw was intended, as a matter of fact, that was intended for uh, Ollie Barham. Got a hand to it. Gisborne boys want the ball. It's uh, now on the Palmerston side. Penalty now. Playing the ball on the deck. It is a contest at the breakdown. Look at that Braith Ingram, a loving pat on the head. He needs it. He's worked very hard, Ingram. Sometimes, even though you're part of a great team, you can feel alone out there. Braith Ingram giving his all to the jersey. Real valour. I suppose if you can't wear a black jersey with a red trim, a black shirt and a red rose will have to do. Noah Torrance Crib to throw the ball into play. 26-0, Palmerston North. Noah about to make the throw. No, this is a Jimmy Moore. Great catch by Jimmy Moore. Gisborne boys, classic win at the line. Punahihi! Punahihi! I love the way he changes pace. I love the way he hops up and down, Punah. 26 0. Palmerston North Boys High School. And the thing these days, there's no way to hide your tricks from the opposition. People can. Turn the TV on, they can break your game down. Hard to spring a surprise, really. Callum Gallery. To clear here, it's a little messy now. Scrum penalty. Gisborne boys with their first penalty award at the set scrum. Put her in the hands of Tere Mana Gray. This very likable young man who definite leadership qualities. Les Thomas, former airman. Loves his rugby Les. Hotel proprietor. 
Line out battle won by Palmerston on this occasion. And they have the ball. This is Vion. Tell you what, he is involved in a lot of play. Kick there, O'Connor. Trying to turn him around. This is uh, Kirikiri Tangera. Kirikiri Tangera with uh, Safford Tawairua Brown over there on his uh, left. Palmerston North now with a chance to counter-attack and run back Odin Ryan. Odin Ryan the hooker running hard. Odin Ryan the hooker gets a pass away. Call there is the forward pass. And again, Ben Holt. Poverty Bay Rugby Referees Association keeps up with play. There's no way that you can make a call like that long distance. The first thing players do when they hear the whistle, they turn to see where the referee is. And the truth is, they gain confidence in your refereeing if you're up with play. If you're 20 back, 30. gasping, no good. So very good effort there from referee Hall. And keeping up with Palmerston and Gisborne is not easy. Loving the quality of rugby and the speed of the game. It is fantastic. Palmerston with a big scrum effort against Gisborne. Napier boys tried to put pressure on them like that as well. Punahihi always gets over the gain line, whether by metres or by inches. He always makes ground. Gisborne boys composed there in defence. Sometimes you have to weather the storm. That's what they're doing at the moment. Odin Ryan to throw. This guy impresses me. Okay, that's a good win there by Barham. Having a pretty good game at the line now. Odin Ryan! Odin Ryan now under the bar! No! Odin Ryan to the right, just. Odin Ryan, another try. 31 points to nil. Odin Ryan's second try here today. His third try in first 15 rugby against Gisborne Boys High School on this ground. Marvellous try and the turn of pace from the rake. Brilliant stuff. 31-0. It's been pure pace and quality so far from the visitors. They play the game in truth at a stunning pace. O'Connor taking water on board. He's going to need it. They're going to keep the pace of the game up like this, man. This has been something else. 31 points to nil. This for 33. That's a gift for the likes of O'Connor. 33 nil. Tell you what, as a, as a humorous aside, I was talking to the referees the other day and they told me that one stands near a post and one stands back, but they're both expected to raise their flags together. Well, that struck me as interesting, but I don't know anything of the art. 33 points to nil. This is uh, incredible stuff from the visitors. Gisborne boys, their second Super 8 game. Go long this time today, Mana Gray. Not a bad tactic, really. The ball went back and down. Connor Gultrap got hands to it. Palmerston with ball again for Gullery to clear. Palmerston wanting to use the ball. They're looking like a, a pretty useful outfit in 2023. Palmerston North boys with pace and their support play is good. Here he comes, Sewer. Sewer down the sideline. Sewer. Sewer will have his man on. Sewer. He got to him there. Well, Kitty Kitty Tangina. But the try stands. A desperate, the desperate arm out. Great hearted effort there from Kitty Kitty Tangina. But a wonderful try, and this guy has done that all season long. Nehemiah Sewer. It's Francis Douglas against the Pauls. It's a wonderful stuff. 38 points to nil. 38 points to nil. I've got to tell you something. I have never seen Palmerston start a game as well as this year. I have never seen the visitors play quite like this. Having said that, Curtis Heffy, I'll never forget, but honestly, this is something else. This is quite spectacular. Rugby of a national standard, the Super 8, arguably the toughest competition in the country, although the Aucklanders maintain their A1 comp is the best there is. And here is O'Connor. 
and O'Connor, O'Connor from out wide has got it. Well, that's a marvellous kick for 40. So 38 becomes 40 on O'Connor. The second time, the sharpshooter from the sideline, Liam O'Connor. Man, the people I get to see every year. It's a privilege. It really is. Likes of Braith Ingram, second generation player, co-captain of Gisborne Boys, who has fought tooth and nail for his team this season. Likes of Kete Kete Tangera, who's looked dangerous in attack and certainly valiant in defence. The effort, without the effort, there's nothing. And he did everything he could to chase Sua down. But Sua was too quick. Okay, that's a Owen Ryan. What happened to Owen Ryan? One minute he was there and then he wasn't. And now Palmerston inexplicably and inexplicable laps dropping the ball there inside their own 22. Score at 40. Incredible stuff. The rectory crowd too would appreciate seeing good quality rugby. After this, they'll all be flocking off to watch the clubs. But the truth of the matter is the pace of these games and the flair, unbelievable. It's a special time in these rugby players' lives, one they'll never forget. If your mum and dad get along, because won't see anything like it. Any other sporting sphere. Okay, Bedouin up there. Uh, down to, well, Gisborne trying to find guys out wide, but Johan has it. See, Beattie involved. Beattie has the ball now. Braith Ingram, what to do? Nice touch. So Gisborne boys, for the first time with a line out on this sideline, the 22 in this position, Noah Torrance Cribb. Look at the little guys, ever helpful. Happy with a sausage and a coke afterwards. 40 points to nil. Noah Torrance crib the throw. Joe Kemp at two. Locking partner Faititi behind him. It is Faititi. Excellent hands there from the big guy. Sensational take at the line out from Ruben Faititi. Gisborne boys. Beanie gets him away. To Neymar Gray. Punahihi. Comes back in. Into Wilston Park. Didn't give any ground there or not much. Millimetres if anything, Wilston Park. Strong, tough defence. Oden Ryan there making the tackle. Gisborne boys looking to clear. Go left again. Will they push it to the edge? Good stuff here. Good uh, construction. Good patient stuff from Gisborne boys. Having to be patient. They haven't had many opportunities. Opportunity hasn't knocked that often for them in this game so far. 40 points to nil. Palmerston with a stunning first half to date. Still time on the clock. A lot of time on the clock, actually. Gisborne boys with the odd tough pass around the bootlaces. Ball on the ground. That is a ruck. Okay, Gisborne boys receive a penalty. Round about 10 metres out. Is that 5 metres out? Gisborne attacking. Gisborne attacking. Hitting the deck hard here, and it is a hard turf. few sprinkles this morning, but no real rain to speak of. Playing towards the rectory. Gisborne boys down by 40 points. It's Palmerston at the moment, 40 points to nil. Gisborne boys, another penalty, only five metres out. Offside ruled there against uh, Palmerston North. Braith Ingram trying to get low. Braith Ingram driven back. He's a metre from the line, a metre and a half. Not quite two metres back. Gisborne now a metre. Well, what's happened? They've turned the ball over and Palmerston breathe again. A sigh of relief. Back goes today, Mana Gray down the middle. Gathers the ball on his own side of halfway. Right in halfway. Well, I'll tell you what, that's a very good effort. There from the uh, from the big guys. Uh, Gisborne again are in trouble here. Gisborne in trouble. Making his way upfield. Palmerston North. They lost the ball there in the act of scoring. That was Ryder Croswell. Who would have scored twice. <coughs> 40 points to nil. Ryder Croswell. From memory, the man who scored the first try. Featuring in the play again. There's always something to do. You've always got a job. Saw the tackle earlier on from Giltrap. Long arm of the law almost. 
Locking partner uh, Toka in front of him. It's for Toka. Well, it was meant for Toka. Malosi. Lua Falialo. Very good game there. Good play by Maliosi. Palmerston North's positional play has been very good to date, it's got to be said. And they can run there with the hoist. Here's Sua again. Near my Sua with Vion outside him. Sua breaks back inside, came off the left foot and dragged down there by Ruben Faitari. Faitari hanging on like grim death. Uh, well, Gallery wants the ball. Gallery wants it. Hello. And Gisborne boys find touch. Nehemiah Sua, marvellous athlete. Coming hard there at Gisborne. At the moment, 40 points to nil. Tight head prop forward, Logan Wallace. New Zealand Māori under 18s representative last year. Odin Ryan, make the throw. Gill trap there in the middle. Nice take. Excellent by Toka. Odin Ryan down the sideline. Has two. Odin Ryan there. Brought down. Was it fight that he got to him then? Working really hard. That's a Jacob Booth. Palmerston North Boys High School with a score of 40 points to nil. Biggest ever lead against Gisborne Boys in the first half of a Super 8 game for Palmerston North. Their scrum anchor, Logan Wallace. Palmerston North Boys... Awarded the try there and another, another try there to Palmerston North. And man, are they going well at the moment. Palmerston North, boys high school with the most impressive first half. 45 points to nil. You know, there's a temptation, a tendency at this stage to look at what the opposition's doing wrong. But, you know, I won't hear a, won't hear a word of it. The truth is the opposition, the visitors, have just come here and played extremely well. They played at a pace that most people couldn't keep up with on a skateboard. Um, their handling skills, their support play has been very good. They say it takes two to tango, but at the same time, you've got to give credit where credit's due. And in particular to O'Connor, who hasn't let his standard slip. It's an easy thing, you know, to go off the boil when everything's going your way. Connor's been very good. First conversion was a sideline job. This from around about 13 metres off the left touch. And uh, Connor has missed a shot at goal. 45 points to nil at the halftime break. <coughs> Super 8 opener. Māori Television, our live coverage of the big game from the rectory in Gisborne. It's been very enjoyable stuff. The game has been played in a fantastic spirit. But the Pete or the tries from Palmerston North boys, their guts, their speed, their fitness, none of these things are possible if you're unfit. And boy, they're fit. A big thank you to Apollo Projects for providing the funding. It's really helped our kids to have more opportunities. Gaining the extra funding really goes a long way to providing opportunities. We are low on the socioeconomic index, so our students haven't got $200 when we're going away for these trips. Students often miss out on opportunities because of um, the financial commitment. More often than not, the student has to give up their sport. With the funding from Apollo Projects, we've been able to lower travel costs to allow more students to participate in secondary school competitions. Your generosity has enabled us to enable these students be able to play in these sports, be able to just be the best versions of themselves. We're really grateful and I cannot express that enough about how, how and what it means to us. Running on empty? Enjoy a six cents per litre fuel discount at your local Caltex with Pumped Every Day. Ah, feels good, eh? Get it at any participating Caltex.
This isn't about what we wore back in the day. Gonna go it now. Going once, going twice, no more offers. Scored! It's about being trusted to get a better result for our clients since 1973. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. This isn't about long distance calling, technology, or living overseas. Do I have one more bid? Thank you. We're going to go once. We're going twice. And we are sold to the Kiwi phone bidder from Manchester. <laughs> it's about Bailey's finding buyers that others can't. Want to catch a fuel bargain with Caltex and Supergold? Scan your Caltex at flybys or airpoints for six cents off the leader with pumped. You beauty! And show your Super Gold card for an extra two cents off. Ah, feels good. Since 2022, New Zealand Carbon Farming has been a partner in our school sports series, which is a collection of national sporting events that are held throughout New Zealand. They've also committed significant funding to help local schools and the communities that they're a part of so they can achieve more with their sport programs. Having this funding, being able to use it specifically targeting sport and to promote sport in, in schools is, is hugely, hugely beneficial. As a small rural school, obviously travel is an issue for, for us. We compete often in the Waikato. We're a community who's driven by sport, but often uh, money and, and the cost of travel and cost of accommodation and uniform can be a, a barrier for some of our students. Our students are in an area where money is tight um, and opportunities for them is, is minimal. So creating more opportunities at school for our students to participate in sport is what we're wanting to do. So to be able to have the support of New Zealand Carbon Farming has been fantastic this year. We are very grateful for the funding. It's going to help a lot of our students here at um, Tikutu High School, especially one of our students, uh, Callum Headley. Um, he has made the New Zealand Kiorahi team. I'd just like to, to thank New Zealand Carbon Farming for their support of the college. Um, without the support, we wouldn't be able to offer everything we do to the students. Huge thank you to New Zealand Carbon Farming. Certainly the, the opportunities and the sponsorship that's been provided is pretty crucial for our school. Big thanks to New Zealand Carbon Farming for everything they've done for us. Without them, then we wouldn't look like this. <laughs> No time to fluff around today? No worries. Just swing into Caltex and pay for fuel with Pay and App to speed on through. Oh yeah. Feels good. Use it at your local participating Caltex. Only had one game. Tera Takaro, what a game day it is. Ben O'Brien for Māori Television, live here at the Rectory in Gisborne, and coverage of the Super 8, and Liam O'Connor kicks off for Palmerston North Boys, who lead at the moment by 45 points. The score is 45 points to nil. The visitors in the white strip from left to right of your screen, Gisborne in the black and red uniform from right to left. Some courageous tackles were made in the first half by Gisborne. Fightity was courageous in the tackle. Certainly Kirikiri Tangera got back. Kaiao, Kirikiri Tangera. But they've had to make so many tackles. Odin Ryan. Okay, nice win, Barham. Palmerston North's lineout's working well. They're a tidy crowd. There's no question about that. And in the midfield there, taking another tackle. Tane Harvey also scored. Here's Odin Ryan again. Odin Ryan, outstanding player. Barham there, Ollie Barham. Ollie Bar well, Barham there, making great ground. Good play here from Palmerston, starting off vigorously with energy. O'Connor the kick. Jimmy Moore was there. He won a line out in the first half. And they're up to put pressure on O'Connor. Here's today, Mana Gray. Boot to ball in desperate fashion. Ball takes a high bounce. Over there, Josiah Simons. Simons, a very good finisher. Real speed. Simons over halfway. 
Good effort there in the tackle. Good tackle there by Quaden Chaffee Cora. Good play by Quaden. That's a driving tackle by Bradley Tocker. Excellent tackle by the big lock. Gisborne Boys surging. Noah Torrance Crib. Penley Award, Gisborne Boys High School. 10 metres from halfway, down by 45 points. Today, Mana Gray, they've tried to hustle him. But he's responded well under pressure. And guts, the definition of guts. Intestinal Hello. fortitude. Ernest Hemingway. Oh, wow, what a good save and play by Beyond. Beyond over to O'Connor. Rough pass there by O'Connor. You don't see that very often. And full of running still, Palmerston. Well, you know, that's one of the very few unforced errors that Palmerston North Boys High School have made today. Tell you what, their coach, Dan Turnock, third year coach, done a wonderful job with these guys. Palmerston North Boys High School rugby tradition, of course, suffering a big loss last Friday with uh, John Loveday, an all black, a lock forward, a chiropractor, a great man, a high school old boys man from memory. They put one or two in there, ran through the shield there all 15 games. Between 76 and 78, a big man with a big heart and be very much missed. Penalty there, Gisborne. Gray will look for the line. Must find it. Sometimes the temptation is to chew off too much turf. Mind you, having said that, have you ever seen more turf chewed off? Then O'Connor with that kick from halfway. It was within a metre of the flag. The corner flag. I just marvel at that. 45 points to nil. Okay, good line out win there, Joe Kemp. Okay, the uh, short arm penalty there from referee Holt. Turns into a full penalty there from referee Holt. Now, he's not touchy, but obviously somebody yabbered at uh, referee Holt. Rectory ground. Seen some marvellous teams and players over the years. Some magnificent teams. Remember Damon Jury's team here years ago? Years have flown. Jared Ryder, the prop. Okay, Barham at the line out. Barham goes well at the line out. I thought he might have been a little hurried there, Barham. Now, uh, Scrum Gisborne. Gisborne boys, of course, have a tradition second to none. Dwayne Heehe, head coach of Gisborne boys, his second year in charge. Played in an incredible game. Hard to believe it was 24 years ago against Wellington College. Drew that game 20 all. Last schoolboy curtain raiser held at Athletic Park. Nehemiah Tialata was playing that day. All black, number 1,060. Gisborne boys get a penalty here from referee hole. And they need a run, and they need to run hard. Punahihi. Sometimes, individually, you've got to lead the boys and inspire them. <coughs> Kiri Kiri Tangera. Shows his shoulder there. Throws the shoulder almost into a Josiah Simons. Gisborne boys, Bidwa. Okay, penalty now, Palmerston North. Gisborne boys would not release the ball. And referee Holt has been very consistent in that point. You know, he's told both teams, you must release. And when they haven't, he has blown the whistle. He's done a good job. The happy fandom down there. 
the Hermit Kingdom up here at the moment, 45 points to nil. Odin Ryan to throw the ball in, he'd be loving it, Odin Ryan. He's come here and played a blinder. 45 nil. Where's Parham? Parham! Another magnificent win. Look at him running hard. Cross will get that pass away. Gisborne boys tackling is good this time in the midfield. Defence is solid in the midfield. Odin Ryan will test them again. Man, they can go. Is this Burham? With the support of Odin Ryan, but has turned it over to Tadema de Grey, who hands away individually, puts boot to ball, and chases hard. Palmerston North recover. Tadema de Grey with a good tackle. The kick and the chase. Good chase there from today, Mana Gray. Palmerston, though, had numbers on the uh, left. Saffin to Wairua Brown now. He chips. Caught by the big guy. Giant prop four. He was in the right place, wasn't he, Jacob Booth? Given Logan Wallace was supposed to be in three. Palmerston North, Odin Ryan. Captain alongside him. The ball went behind him. Saffin to White to a brown boot to ball. Now hearing after Simons. Simons trying to handle the ball, trying to hang on to the ball. Saffin to White to a brown trying to hold him up. Gisborne boys get there. One or two. Palmerston outnumbered them four to two there. Boot to ball from a right across well. And finds touch. The safety of touch. The equilibrium of touch and sometimes you do need that timeout. Players falling down all over the place. Palmerston North player just well a moment ago just seemed to fall down of his own accord. At the moment, 45 points to nil. Trainers run out there with their high vis. Helping hand. Game is played at a fierce pace these days. One of the guys out there with water for Gisborne boys is Richard Brown. And this is what we call a, what do they call this? A teachable moment. Now it's a coachable moment. Players being attended to and staff on the field of play. Braith Ingram having a word there to referee Holt. Richie Brown rallying the troops, getting them together on the field. Braith Ingram, one of the things that the Gisborne Boys High School captain has wanted his people to do is to stay within their system, to stick to their guns, as it were. And in this sense, you can take that to mean being where we expect you to be and doing what, you need, what we need you to do. Sometimes it's hard in the midst of the battle. And this Rarangi uh, Muri, this back line... Of Palmerston North Boys High School has been difficult to contain. Joe Kemp gotten up at line out time, so also is Barham. Seems to be uh, Palmerston's main man at line out time. Player being attended to. Well, in uh, number one today, we were given Booth, and Wallace was supposed to be in three. What we were told. Back of the line out, Connor Giltrap. Gives my boys throw. Okay, that's Kemp. Kemp there with a tap ball. Gisborne just need to tidy that aspect of their play up a little, just at the line out. Having said that, it's uh, hard against an opponent like Palmerston North boys, who will hustle you. O'Connor, Odin Ryan, who pops up in the strangest places. That was a loose one there over to Croswell from Harvey. Held on to the ball there, Simons. Had the Yohan, I think, outside. Gisborne boys there at the breakdown. Will they get the ball here? Okay, Gisborne boys knock on their rule against Gisborne boys high school at the breakdown. And again, the calmness... The calmness of uh, referee Holt is one of the things that sticks out to me in that passage. People are starting to filter back to rugby. Getting used to that being a part of their Saturday afternoons again. A very important part of their Saturday afternoons as well. 
Palmerston North boys, haven't these guys played well coming back into the side? Tom Ilston Park in for Tavita Fakaho, Alex Palazzo for Quinn Sturmey, and of course Callum Gullery for uh, Cooper Fernell. I think those guys have been very influential. And for Gisborne boys, the lads have come into the uh, into the team to start today have been uh, very good too. The Embedi for Cody Christie, Safin Tawairua Brown, left wing uh, for the uh, right wing who's gone there to Milwaukee Stewart and Stewart for Gibson Poy. So these coaches make changes. They want to see it's a balancing act between giving guys a chance and also, if something isn't working, giving other people a chance. He's a scrum there. This gallery. Palmerston North with good ball. Now receive a penalty from referee Holt. 45 points to nil. Gisborne Boys defence has tightened up in the second half. Credit where credit's due. Certainly tightened up. The lightning start from Palmerston North. They were irresistible at the start of the game. Palmerston have played the game at pace or tried to here in the second half. Hard to play an error-free game. Now onto the field for Palmerston. Cooper Fennell. Elston Park standing out of the line out. It's a Palmerston North throw. Another whistle, Ben Holt. Okay. This time they don't go for Barham, but Palmerston still have the ball. Elston Park. Oh, good pass there from the captain to Owen Ryan, who's put into touch. Tom Milston Park, unselfish play, again looking up and finding Odin Ryan. Must be maddening for the opposition. Always there, Odin Ryan, playing so well. Gisborne boys, their throw. Big prop forward, Levi Cameron playing his 10th game today. Throw wasn't straight, so now Palmerston scrum. These are the little things that make a difference. Palmerston scrum. They come 15 metres in field. They're five metres out. Seen some very good rugby here today and on a stress of a national standard. It really is. Alec Palazzo. He is the eight man for Palmerston. Was that famous uh, motto, no glory without hard work. Okay, Palazzo goes to the left. Palmerston North boys continuing to probe and to work. Odin Ryan up by 45 points and still Palmerston want more. For now, here's Elston Park, the captain. Goes right, goes left. Elston Park got across. The captain got across. So Palmerston North boys high school's Tom Elston Park. In the tradition of Tane Harvey, in the tradition of Simpson Smith, has gone across, and that is a well-deserved try. Palmerston North Boys High School bring the 50 up with a try to the skipper. And as is the New Zealand way so often, undemonstrative. 50 points to nil. Man, this has been a magnificent showing by the visitors. 29-10, of course, they won that... Uh, under 15's engagement and uh, wow incredible 41-0 the second 15 Palmerston North Boys High School here 45 has turned into 50 and this from O'Connor for 52 to nil now 52 to nil Reminds me of a scoreline, Tauranga Boys College against Gisborne Boys. It was 52-0 from memory at Nicholson Field. That was 1989. It's a long time ago. A, a tough memory.
Don't forget what you've seen here today is skill and speed and flair. As these guys get older, there's so much more contact and so much more physical, and the game loses a little of its flair and luster. They're still young enough, though. They play the game that way. Gisborne boys kick the ball out on the fall from the restart. So Palmerston North Boys High School with the scrum at halfway. And incredible showing today by the visitors. Gisborne boys have counted them with courage where they could. They've one line out ball. Made some ground for Nahi. He's carried the ball to good effect. Watch the noise. These guys are honest. This Gisborne Boys High School team is honest. They are representing the school with pride and showing real courage. But this opponent was very strong today. Okay, for now. Uh, there's a Conan and Gisborne Boys there. I don't know whether the old-fashioned expression, pennies from heaven, is quite appropriate. But certainly getting hands up to the ball. It's like the last little chocolate frog in the shop. Can't quite get onto it. 52 points to nil. It's a wonderful thing, the schoolboy rugby. It, it really brings out the best in the boys, to be honest. It's very tough, obviously. Very competitive. But there's also a closeness there. And a love of the game. God bless it. 52 points to nil. Sometimes it's a hard game. Doubt about that. 52 to nil. Knock on by Gisborne, the strong scrum by Palmerston. O'Connor. It was a tank, got a good pass away then. Man, Palmerston, they look good at the moment. They look good at the moment, Josiah Simons. Gisborne boys, a few uh, other reserves on the field too. James Parkinson now on in 21 for Palmerston North. It's a right at Croswell. Croswell ran into a teammate there. Good pressure. That was comical. Was that Sione? Ty Law. Good defense, boys. Well, that was, uh, it looked to be Ryder Croswell. Looking to circumnavigate one of his front row forwards. As at the moment, 52 to nil. Okay, Gisborne boys wanting to run with boot to ball into that corner. Chase is good, but man, the, the opposition's got wheels. Good defense, though, by Gisborne boys getting up to make their tackles. Given to me in 17 was a T-Penny Wilson. He scored a try from memory in the first game of the season. Wow, what a magnificent effort that was by Josiah Simons to the captain, Elston Park. Can he make it, the captain? <laughs> <coughs> and the captain, Tom Elston Park, with another try. This time for 57 points to nil. It's a long way to make Skippy run. And got there and scored another great try. But to be honest with you, the credit with that really, got a lot of it's got to go to Simons. That pass, unreal. Don't see many that good. Tremendous pass. I think these days they call it an offload or something. Very good pass there from Simons. 57 points to nil. Hilston Park. Captain has well and truly earned his bread. No doubt about that. And, and instead of getting water, somebody... Well, the, the cap was only half on. Threw the bottle and the water fell out. Well, of all the things... Get a reassuring pat on the back instead of a drink. Can't believe it. 57 points to nil. Got to screw the top back on. 57 points to nil. Tom Elston Park, magnificent. You ask those guys, they want to go another 30. They would. O'Connor. 
Score is 57. This for 59. And he has it, O'Connor. Has it, O'Connor, for 59. An expert goal-kicking display today by Liam O'Connor. And hold his head up with the best kickers in this competition. This Super 8, only two weeks into the Super 8. Well, one weekend for Palmerston North. Tell you what, sometimes you lose a game and it fires you up. That's what this game against Silverstream last week did. Boy, oh boy, have they come back and bounced back Palmerston. And Gisborne boys, they've still got time to play. Get on the board, score a try. It's something back with the hands are very good, though, from the visitors. They run to the line. Excellent tackle there by Braith Ingram. Ingram, whether the score be 59 or no, whether it be at the start of the game, the end of a close one, the 10th minute of extra time, Braith Ingram. Never give up and never give in. His heart is a brick. Good effort there Hello. from Braith Ingram. Enjoyable rugby. you got to imbue these players with a certain heroic quality. 59-0. Been a privilege to see this performance today. Likes of Braith Ingram still laying it all out there. Good hands. Here's our Punahihi. Punahi played well. Okay, and Ingram has it. He takes off and now scores under the bar. Both Ingram scores. One for Gisborne boys under the bar against Palmerston with the imposing scoreline of 59 points to five. And then straight back to business. Ingram, nearly a moment to celebrate. Gets straight back to halfway. He doesn't want to hear it. The captain totally focused on his team, on his team's performance, what they need to do. He's not interested in the glory, Braith Ingram. He's not here for that. And, you know, he'd only just finished, finished making a great tackle a moment or so before. Those are the players that I like to watch. The ones who, you know, who put the effort in when times are hard. Sometimes times can be harder than hard. Braith Ingram, he deserves a try. And so it's written. Okay, conversion there. Gisborne Boys High School on the board. Seven to fifty-nine. Today, Mana Gray converting Braith Ingram's try. Tell you what, he took that quickly. The captain wasn't looking about to see whether or not anybody else was on side. 7 to 59. Gisborne boys with ball in hand that they haven't had a lot of ball. They haven't had a lot of possession. Truth is, field position, well, possibly 50 50. But Palmerston have shown the ability to break out. Okay, now penalty here to Gisborne boys. That's our penalty put. Referee Holt again, a couple of things. His manner, the way he's dealt with the players today too has been very impressive. Sometimes there's a tendency with referees to be a little bit grumpy or a little bit short. Nothing like that from Ben Holt today. You know, the players have been good citizens. Only once I think as a team uh, chatted back to him. But I, I like the way he's dealt with these guys. You show respect, you receive it. You're entitled to courtesy. Okay, that's a great catch. Excellent win there at the line out. Nice stuff from uh, Ruben Faitari. Gisborne boys continuing to work hard. The honest giver never fails to receive. Gisborne boys, look at uh, Kemp there getting over the top. Okay. Palmerston North Boys High School, Odin Ryan. You think of the standard of the rugby that we're going to get to see this this season on Māori TV, not just Palmerston North and Gisborne Boys High School here, but Hamilton. World Champions, Hamilton. Tauranga, can't sniff at them. New Plymouth Boys High School. 
Rotorua boys Hastings. It is a wonderful competition. And it does a lot of good at these schools. And it's good for these schools. Super 8 here on uh, Māori TV. It was a Fennell getting it away. It was O'Connor and the intercept. And Gisborne boys are going to pick up their second try. Well, may have come uh, late in the piece, but a try is a try, and no doubt they'd be thrilled about that. Gisborne boys high school with a second try. I said before that the honest giver never fails to receive. Sometimes you've got to hang in. Reminds me of something I, I heard in a movie years ago. It's a magnificent piece. You know, how are we going? Are we going to go down? We will, but we'll meet them in battle nonetheless. And Gisborne boys against Palmerston here. 59 to 12 now. Two tries to show for it. Wanting the tea. The small matter of the tea. Needing the tea. And here comes, uh, is that Richard Brown? Richard Brown trotting the tea over to uh, today, Mana Gray. You can have a choice, a pink or a blue? The blue. Today, Mana Gray. About 15 metres back. 59 12. Should really be 59 to 14 here on the conversion attempt. Palmerston North Boys High School. Looking to sweep Gisborne here. 59 points to 14. Two tries. Two second half tries. Halftime score of 45 points to nil. Their defense has certainly been much better the home team in the second half. Palmerston, nobody could play 80 or 70 minutes worth of rugby like they did the first 10 minutes. That would be beyond belief. They've been very good throughout, but uh, that first 10 minutes, you couldn't touch them. Gisborne Boys High School have the ball. Is that Ratu Nairoi? Ratu. Making a sizable impact. A real impression. There's uh, today Mana Gray. The ball may take a tough bounce here for Palmerston. That is a tough bounce. And here, Gisborne Boys go back for the penalty under advantage. Referee Holt. Just waiting to see how uh, that would play out. I think, and I'm going to say it again, quite often around the country, whatever the code, we're always keen to poke holes in officials. But Ben Holt, I think, has had a really good game, and it's about time that was pointed out. Fine, good touch there today, Munda Gray. Bill Yowen's been, uh, he's been exciting. Full back. Kai out, Kete Kete Tanangira. He's played his heart out. They always do. Fight today again, winning line out ball. Today, Mana. Now, Ponahihi. He hulks up into Odin Ryan. Muscularly. Okay, good hands there. Gisborne boys, Joe Kemp up there in good support. Good effort from Joe Kemp. Joe Kemp trying to get the ball back for Gisborne boys. Good play by Kemp. With the, uh, number eight there going over to try and get it. Palazzo. Showed some energy there. Gisborne boys, ragged. <coughs> But unyielding. <laughs> Penalty award here. 59 points to 14. Today, Mana Gray finds touch. Ruben Faitari has been very good in the line out in the second half, especially. Barham has been very good in that area for Palmerston North. Ratu Nairodoi, number 23. He's got to get the ball close to the line. At some stage, he's got to. Ratu Nairodoi. Uh, Ratu! Well, he's got it there, Ratu Nairodoi! Got the good pass away, too. Ratu Nairodoi with a great pass. Did well. Malosi. Luafali Alor. 
He's a meter away. Hold, hold, spread, spread, spread. Hey, did anybody else see the little flick pass from Ratu? Up. I wouldn't have thought that he'd give a little flick pass like that, but he did. Today, Mana Gray has it over to uh, Punahihi. Punahihi bucking Bronco. Up towards, uh, well, within a metre of the 22. Gisborne with a couple of tries. Joe Kemp goes low. Good play there. The tall guy getting low. Good body position from Kemp. Ratu Naroro, they hit it from the side. They hit him somewhere. They tap and run. Penalty was awarded. Today, Mana Gray. Well, a look of exasperation. I think he wanted to play quickly. How about Ratu carrying the ball and those guys come hit him from side on, burrowed into him. <coughs> 59 14. This is obviously going to be either a line kick or a, or a tap kick. The element of surprise would appear to have been lost. <laughs> 59 points to 14. I haven't seen a set move executed here for years. I remember a time when they were all the rage the set move. No, just a scrum. 59 points to 14. Enjoyable rugby. Played in great spirit. Both principals should be proud of their schools. The boys have played well today and they've shown respect to each other. A very fine engagement on that uh, on that side. Bidwark, it's a pass away. It's a, a little scrappy. But you've got to make do. Tangera. Over there on the right, Gisborne being pushed off the ball and Palmerston have it. They're penalised though by referee Holt. Still with time to play. You know, sometimes you're out there and it certainly hurts. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Just got to dig a little deeper. All of these Super 8 schools, they have that characteristic, that tenacity. It's a feature of their rugby. It's an element of their character. 59-14. Waiting an age to throw this ball into play. Referee Holt there scurrying out of what he was between the lines. Okay, loose ball, and now Palmerston North Boys High School have seized upon the loose ball. Gisborne Boys have been awarded free kick, Braith Ingram. He's stung on once from close distance, or from close range. Where is that? Ratu Nadonoi, now he comes and throws the shoulder. Wow. They all came at Ratu. Braith Ingram makes a good surge. Got a hand up with a fend. Gisborne Boys High School continuing to push, continuing to push hard here. And Gisborne Boys have gotten across with their third try. No! Held out just short. Jimmy Moore trying to get to ground. Ratu Naidodoy got to get in behind the big guy. Naidodoy crumples up. Gisborne Boys have it again. Ball's on the floor. Braith Ingram, once more. Barham there with a tackle on the Gisborne captain. Gisborne boys with the ball now to release it. Gisborne boys with the ball now to release it. And the ball is there on the floor. And Gisborne boys have been awarded a try. A magnificent try. It was Bidwa. Luke Bidwa there scored for Gisborne boys high school. Their third try. The first half was one of blinding speed controlled by Palmerston. The second half for Gisborne boys has been better. There's no doubt about it. Now three tries to show for it. And at the moment, 59 points to 19. You know, obviously at halftime, 
certain quarters, heads might have been down. And that's when you need to play better. And that's what they've done. Today, Mana Gray Bidwa has played really well this season. That doesn't surprise me either. Two of Gisborne's back row forwards. Jimmy Moore's been everywhere, tackling everybody, anything that moves. Those guys have scored tries. Now 21 points on the board. 59-21. Referee Holt, 59-21. Gisborne boys have done more than add respectability to the score. They've shown real courage in the face of adversity. And that's because Palmerston is one heck of a good team. Haven't been any controversial refereeing decisions, nothing at all like that. Just very good rugby. Goes long now, O'Connor. Strange looking kick, wasn't it? The ball hung there in the breeze. So Bidwar a try, Ingram a try. Three tries all in all. Bit hard to tell from our vantage point who it was that scored the runaway try. Could only see the front. But at the moment, 59-21. Three converted tries. Gives my boys up to make tackles. And Palmerston North boys still wanting to run. That's Vion with a kick ahead. Gives my boys back there to cover. Man, are they courageous. They got back there, well organized. That's a very good defensive passage by Gisborne Boys High School. Odin Ryan there to chase on the kick. 59-21. The effort that they made to get back there, get guys behind the ball, not concede the penalty, is quite wonderful. And just while we've got a moment to say thank you to Liz Gray too, their manager, Palmerston North Boys High School, for taking a moment, run through some of their lads' names for us. Very kind and much appreciated. These managers, they do everything. Lots of things. Can't even guess it these days. Still find time to help us. Point out the obvious that we need it. Tom Elston Park can also leave this place when he does leave this place, knowing that his people have not just played very good rugby, but that they've won respect the way they've played the game. One of the reasons these two teams get on so well you don't have players celebrate in the faces of the opposition. They, they show respect. You know, you're wearing that jersey on behalf of somebody. Who are you wearing that jersey for? Who does it matter to? And um, that's a lovely touch. Odin Ryan to make the throw. Barham's been very good at the line out. It's Barham again. Ollie Barham suspended there in midair for a moment. Here's Odin Ryan again. Odin Ryan got that pass back. Is that Punahi that flopped on the ball? Plopped on the ball, dropped on the ball. Gisborne boys now looking to, well, playing with the wind, the Nor'westers, you know, in the second half there. Big touch. Huge touch. Their biggest line kick of this. The second half of play and the game is over. 59 points to 21. Palmerston North Boys High School with a victory, one of the finest that they've ever achieved here at the rectory. It hasn't always been easy going here at the rectory them but they have played magnificently today and you could not play any better lead 45 nil at half time Gisborne boys bouncing back with three converted tries very good goal kicking today Mana Gray in the second half it's been exciting it's been skillful it's been enjoyable
Now I've got to grin a mile wide. Now I've got to find Tommy and I've got to find uh, Ponda. Oh. <coughs> Wait a minute here, Daryl.